Very well everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Chained Echoes. I have just returned from a four week vacation. So hopefully I'll do a better job of recording than last time because last time I had all sort of issues. Anyway, last time we had essentially got our new destination. We have to leave the city of Tormund and head to uh, the flower fields of Perpetua. However, we do have someone finish his business in the forest of the Fjordwoods. So we'll probably take care of that in this episode. We also have other stuff we have to do in another, in another location. We have these guys, so let me just remember what I have to do exactly here. Vince without going overdrive, find the buried treasure, complete the quest, we can't do that yet. Explore most of the area, defeat forest worm, find hidden caves, okay, defeat alpha wolf, find collectibles, we already done that, uh, treasure chest, Excalibur, okay, and these ones are done. Find nine treasure chests, explore most of the area, yeah, I was waiting to cash these in until we had all the party, and we do now, well, yeah, we do, because there's seven of us. That's that fight. I don't want to fight that, because it's a bunch of Vins plus some teddy bears. I said I don't want to fight that game. Of course, we're going to have to waste time waiting for these two guys to take the turn. Should be able to avoid them. There we go. So, this area is the upper right quadrant. We haven't been here yet. Uh, there's an objective with this guy, right? The gazer. We have the gazer change every turn. So how about we do that since we're here? Hey, in order to do that, we'll have to take out a party member. We'll take out Rob for now. Uh, how do I remove from party? There we go. Okay. Because we have to change every turn. Let's see if we can do it. So switch. You are weak against water, right? Yeah, let's do that. I could do third eye, but doesn't matter. All right, switch and Victor will do poetic march. Sure. So the only annoying thing about this is that you're hardly gonna go into overdrive, but okay. Earth. And swap. We're gonna do next slash. We should be fine. It's not too bad. Uh, I could oil slash it. Mm, but he's weak to water. No, I'll just cross slash. Just go for damage, it's fine. Uh, what do I do with you? I guess Dark Spear. Okay, he's doing nothing. We're gonna switch. Do Water Trust. Yeah. We'll be fine. And sure, we can do power. No, we can do Power Pierce. There you go. Switch. And another Fighting March. What's he gonna do? Win. Oh no! Oh look, I have Battle Storm, man, I win. Hey, we've done that. That connects? Not quite. We do get a Sacred Water, though, which is nice, so we can get another class emblem later. We need this one, though, because it connects everything. Well, everything connects to the other ones. Uh, well, advance me. Through the board. What do we have up here, though? Have we looked around? Yes. We have, but there is. Another one of these. Hidden caves. Okay, we're definitely not going to be able to do that. Because the, the forest worms, the dragons, are still too strong. We will be able to explore most of the area, though. Definitely. And over here. 
There is a way to make it on top of those platforms. There it is. They're not even platforms. They're like higher ground, I guess. And we'll be able to grab a few things. There's that. And then... There's an equipment on the central one. Just need to remember how to get to it. There's a bridge here, I think. You might be able to access it from here. Yep, there it is. Uh, keep in mind, we can still go back in Torment if we so choose. Also, uh, let me restore my party formation. Victor goes here, Rob goes here. Alright. And now with a few other secret passages, we should be able to reach the place we need to. Shaman's robe, I think we have... No, that's new. Yeah, that's new, you take it. Yeah. Batras needs it because he's a bit lacking in the defense department. And Adventures Vest for Sienna, sure. Look at that. That I think is everything for this sector. Uh, down there in the central in the central right quadrant is the exit of the area. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and torment. We'll warp to this one. And we'll take the left exit instead. We took the right exit before, now we're gonna go left. Now... Let me think. No, I can't do the unique monsters yet. I can do one of them. What would that give me? I can do this one. But I can't do the other. Well, it's not even on the board. So I could probably just do it. The thing is, they are kind of in a pair. In order to spawn the second one, you need to kill the first. Then reach the, where the second one spawn point without leaving the forest or fast travel. Which, unfortunately... Means you're gonna have to kill at least a couple dragons, I think. So these places are... Well, these bridges here. There's nothing interesting here. This is where the other... Uh, unique monster spawns. And again, unfortunately, in order to get it... To get here without fast travel, you have to either leave the town to go into... Uh, not the town, leave the forest to go into Torment. Or... What oh, chainmail. Or kill dragons. Uh, Victor. You take it. But we can definitely find some stuff here. There's an adventure up there that I missed. Well, I purposely did not talk to because he doesn't really say anything useful. He says how to spawn the unique monsters, but I don't know about that. So, I don't really need to talk to him. Okay. Moving on. More collectibles. There's definitely a lot of crystals here. Which is nice. There should be also a way to... Yeah, I need to go down and explore. But before we do that, I'm gonna head down here. We found the fast travel location, we go down here, that will give me the explore most of the area achievement. It's pretty lonely here. We are on the border to the inner sanctum. No one dares to come here. Trespassing is punishable by death. Also, look out for fairies. They play tricks on humans. This is a location of a couple of side quests. There's nothing in this house just yet. If we keep going, we might find a couple more loot and goodies in general, but we'll soon meet a dead end. Let's see. We should find a boat soon that we cannot use. Hey, we can get a raincoat. What does that do? Is that water defense? Yep. Uh, yeah, this boat we can't use yet. That leads to an area that is within a side quest, which we cannot even trigger right now, and therefore sort of useless. Uh, why am I running back? I have fast travel. Fewer woods. Right, let's explore this area real quick, and then we'll move on to other business. There are ways to drop down here, where the dragons are. You can get goodies. Without finding them. 
Some are impossible to get without fighting them, but like some, like this one, see? I go down here. There's a chance. Mm, I can't avoid these guys. But... Can I go down here? Yes, I can. And then I might be able to do something over here. No. So it's only on the top part, I guess, on the top left quadrant that you can do that. Uh, but this is essentially I would get to the other unique monster. Oh, uh, no. I can see on the map there's a path to the left that leads down. Down here. Wait, up here? What's up here? Oh, that leads back to town. All right. This leads down here, which will allow me to grab that. And. Oh, this. So, this is another area we'll visit at one point. We found a kneeling belt. Which is that make healing better? Is that what it does? Healing belt. No critical heals. Enables critical heals. We do not really need that right now. But sure. It's there. We'll grab it. No, I do not want to do that. Please leave. Thank you. Anything else? I think that's it for this area, honestly. So, what we're missing here, apart from that... Oh, I haven't grabbed all of these. Uh, we could do that again, but... 30 out of 38 treasure chests, most of them are protected by dragons, so we'll wait for it. But we need to do this one, for sure. The Alpha Wolf, and that's actually the only one. Wasn't there the Vince without Overdrive? Yeah, that one. That one is totally doable. Your woods. Let's see. What's the best? It's this one, probably. We go north from here. Should be able to find a group of Vins. And all we have to do is really is just not going to overdrive. We can also find some wolves. There we go. It's two of them. So all we have to do to keep our overdrive low is defending and using our ultra move. Now watch out for them, because they raise overdrive when they attack. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to pop this. Try to get one out as soon as possible. Alright, let's see here. Oh, it doesn't have much health. I'm going to defend with Victor. That way I'll lower my overdrive even more. Boom. Okay, and sure, should be enough, okay, that's that, and look at that, we can also restrain, which is free overdrive down, so we don't have to worry about it too much, boom, too much though, defend, it's this turn, okay, and it looks like we have pedal storm, and then we're gonna restrain again, We got this. Yep. We did it. Easy peasy. Now that one. That one will require... A bit of... Farming. Because you can't really find them really... Often. I know two spawn points for them. But enemies in this game don't really respawn that fast. Oh really? We can't avoid this fight? Can't we avoid this fight? Okay, dude, please let me run. Don't waste my time. I don't think we can avoid this fight. Ooh, maybe. Yes. Okay. Because up here, I believe, there's a group of wolves. If we keep going, eventually we'll find it. If it's not here. Well, it's in the path here. I think once the path goes up and then right again. Then we'll find the wolves. What? Okay, this way. Over here, right? 
Yeah, now I wonder something here. Hang on. I never tried this, but let's see. So there's an Alpha Wolf in the back. What if I focus entirely on him, then run and re trigger the fight? Is that count? It should. But let's see. Uh, Poetic March. Dark Spear on the back. Boom. Overdrive. Cross Slash on the back. I think it should count, right? So I was 3 out of 6. It's not dead yet. Alright, just bop it. Okay, so now I run, right? If I run, will that update the count of Alpha Wolves? Yeah, so we can just do that. Defeat that guy, move on. Alright, don't need to defeat the whole group. Look at that. New strat acquired. I never even thought about that until up until now. Uh, can we get Len in here? No, you're not switching with Len. Why? Um, there you go. Uh, Len, I want Len here. Kalin is fine. Rob with Sienna, right? Because they're the two damage over time characters. Yeah, we just need to defeat that guy twice again. It's not that bad. Especially if we get a Petal Storm. Which we don't. Nice. So I need to land instead of a Trath. So she can do Wind Trust. Uh, and I can do Poetic March. Yeah, I just need to finish it as fast as possible here. Uh, can I slash finish it? He will die by bleed, right? Yep. Okay, one more time. Just run from the fight and do it again. I will also change land in front. There we go. So that she can go immediately. Whoa, wind trust. I could use an ultra, sure. I mean, we don't really need it. Once Sienna gets the turn again, I'll just pop the ultra. Hey, keeps me in overdrive as well. There we go. Objective, objective complete. Right, we don't need to fight this. Alright, that puts us to 39. One more and we get another Grimoire Shard, man. At this point. Although, you know what? We're probably gonna get a, a, an objective real soon in the next area anyway. So, Cortara Mountain Fields now. Uh... You no, wait a minute. Pure woods. I can't go from there. Let's see if it lets me. Because I think right now we can backtrack to a certain specific location. I'm not sure if we can do it uh, if we warp to the Cortara map. We might have to backtrack from here. These wolves, can I not fight them? Thank you. Okay, we can go here. There's no map. But will... Will Glenn allow me to take this direction? No. But I can definitely warp... To Cortara. Now do I get... Yeah. No? Yeah. This is the closest one. It's still gonna be a track. To go where I need to go. But we'll see if we can do it. So, in Cortara, right now, you can access a certain area that you couldn't before, I believe. We'll, we'll see if we can. If we can't, it's gonna be episode over, we're gonna do it another time. 
All right, we have to defeat these things. Cause they're in the way. Just can't avoid this fight. Yeah, unfortunately, these are quite tanky. Are they weak to anything? No. Uh, buff. Otherwise, you drop out of overdrive. Do a poetic march. Let's try to finish as fast as possible. Are you don't have battle storm yet? Man, I not that lucky apparently. Ow, that hurts. Okay, so fire trust, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Still does a lot. That was down. Off. Close you are to death, okay. We're good. We need to go down here and cross the bridge. I can avoid the fight with these guys if I move very carefully. There we go. Yeah, and now we go to this. Yep, we can go to this map. So this is the map that Siena crossed while going to rock bottom. I guess I could have gone from rock bottom, maybe. But I don't know. And now we can actually explore this side of it. Which we haven't before. Eh, some stuff to pick up. Which might or may not be useful. Was there a symbol here? Yeah, there was, but I don't think... Did I get this? I don't remember. I might have gotten it already. Couple of uh, water flies here, they're not that scary. We already seen these enemies with only Glen and Len, so they should be pretty easy. Weak to wind as well. Let's see. Yeah, we should be fine. Yep, they do no damage. Alright. Now there is an enemy here that is quite annoying to deal with. It's a new enemy we haven't seen yet. But I will try to avoid fighting it if I can. Because it's not exactly something I want to fight. I need to... <laughs> I need to decide what attack I want to do. There we go. You're out of here. And Sienna, please. Help me out. Uh, pressure point, right? You're weak against it. Okay, we're done. We're more more interested in the treasure that's here rather than the enemies. We'll be back for again the strong enemy that lies around here. Because it does have some interesting thing going on with it. Uh, there's this. Do I have to find it? I guess I do? Map says there's a path here. Okay, just for these two things. I bet this thing is gonna summon two more of them. Of course. Of course it's gonna summon two more of them. What was I thinking? Uh, who got more... Eh, whatever, let's fight you. Unfortunately, I can't avoid this fight either. Now, if you don't want to do this right now, you don't have to. You can actually come back later when you'll be able to one-shot these guys. But I just want to do it now, because why not? Alright, can we finish this one off, please? Thank you. And look at that wind thrust. Oh no! There's so much damage! Uh, we all have offensive buff. Let's get... Yeah, let's just deal damage. Don't really need to buff more than that. I need to lower my overdrive. Do I though? Yes, I do. We strained one of the best moves in the game. It's so good. Especially when you have the turn is uh, it's purple. And you are dead, sir. Yep.
So up here, there doesn't seem to be anything, but we have heard from some NPCs there are invisible bridges in Cortara, so you can just cross. There's a couple of them. Well, there's one here, and I believe there's one later. Well, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to fight that if I can. That thing is a little strong. We can get this. That resists two ram. Which is an equipment we can't even use. Can we avoid that? Yes, we can. Yes, I don't want to fight that. That is sort of strong. And I can't even... Again, there's a thing I can do with that. But I don't have the right character for it. It'll be a while before we get it. And we get a vision ram. Which we can't use again. Because we don't really have any use for it. And I think that's it. We looked around everywhere in this area. Uh, There's a way down there. I haven't even acknowledged that. Can I go back for... No, I have to circle around here. Alright, it's fine. So, you may be thinking, why get those things that we can't even use just yet? Well, wasn't it here? Oh. It, game says there's a way down here, but there's not? Like, it clearly... I'm off the map, but it clearly says there's a path. Oh, well. Weird map, I guess. Because there's nothing here, right? Right. But those two things we got, they come will come in handy later once we get the ability to use them. For now, we'll go back to the Fjord Woods. Um, now you have to go from here. And we will quickly... Well, we we'll, can do it next time, actually. Next time, we'll make our way to the Fjord Fields of Perpetua. See you then.